Hello and welcome to watch an instructional video by ABB Drives. In this video we show how to install the ABB General Purpose Drive, ACS 580. Start by making the installation site safe by switching off the input power and securing the disconnection. Wait 5 minutes after disconnecting the input power. Ensure there's no electricity in the supply cable. Here we replace an old drive with the ACS580 drive. Identify and label the control wires before detaching them. Detach the motor and input power cables. Remove the drive from the wall. The ACS580 drive package contains an option tray with the quick installation and startup guide, control panel and options. Mark the installation points using the mounting template included in the package. The ACS580 drive is designed to be backwards compatible with previous generations and can use the same mounting points on the wall. Open the cover and take out the accessories. Disconnect the EMC filter if you have an IT or corner grounded TN system. Remove the rubber grommets. In this installation we use existing input power and motor cables, but in the case of a new installation, Here's how you prepare the cable. Cut a hole into the rubber grommet and slide the grommet onto the cable. Cut and remove the main insulation from the cable. Wrap tape around the base of the cable leaving a small gap for grounding the shield 360 degrees. Separate the shield wires and twist into a pigtail. Remove the inner insulation around the phase conductors and strip the ends of the wires. Wrap green-yellow tape around the twisted shield wires. The cable is now ready for installation. Pull the motor and power cables through the rubber grommet and the grounding shelf. Ground the shield 360 degrees by tightening the clamps of the power and motor cables onto the stripped part of the cable. Connect the twisted shield wires to the grounding terminals. Connect the phase conductors to the motor and input terminals. Install the grounding shelves for the brake resistor and control cables. The drive's functionality can easily be extended using optional plug-in modules such as I.O. extension modules and field bus adapters. In this installation, these options are not needed. Pull the control cable through the rubber grommet and grounding shelf and tighten the clamp. Connect the control wires to the terminals on the drive. Tie all the control cables to the provided cable tie mounts. Mount the control panel and close the cover. Open the lock securing the disconnection and switch on the supply. The drive starts and is now ready for setup and commissioning.